we're at the Flying U for the Pursuit Trips. Pursuit Trip is for the experiential program for SMU and we, at the end of the year we go out and kind of tie in together everything that we've learned and go on a nice long trip and use all our skills and have a lot of fun. We go through what people at the ranch would do every day, so grooming them, saddling them up, and then riding them, not just riding them. Well, the Grade 10 Experiential Program is aimed at getting students outside the classroom, and not only outside the classroom, but exploring interests uh, that maybe they've never had experience at before, hence the experiential part of it. Well, I love horses. I've been riding for six or seven years, so just the idea of being with horses was very appealing to me. When I read the description of the trip, I, I knew right away this was not going to be a little one hour thing, that it was definitely going to be a full on, we're going out there, which I wanted to experience, but sure I had some doubts about it, which I felt it would be good to conquer those. So I was like, yeah, this is a great choice, let's do this. I love animals and I really wanted to be a vet, but my grades in science don't really show that right now. So I wanted to see what other like aspects of equestrian lifestyle could be used as like a career. I learned how to like taking care of horses and riding horses. Yeah, and I also learned like the business management of the ranch. That is really helpful for me because I want to become a hotel manager in the future. So yesterday I had a great time listening to the boss of the ranch and like, yeah, I learned a lot from him. We did some horseback riding every day and we also like learn how to take care of horses. Sometimes we go swimming, but the water is pretty cold. <laughs> and we also went hiking and we did some funny games like capture the flag in the woods. We again did a trail ride out to kind of it was like a mini rodeo where we did what was called barrel racing where we went around these barrels and like figure eights as fast as we could go. Sadly my horse didn't go as fast as I wanted it to but who can have everything and we also got to do something which is kind of cool where we led the horses through kind of an obstacle course so through things they went necessarily encounter on a daily basis. So we would take a horse and we would try to get them to go over teeter-totter or go over the sprinkler because a lot of them they have that fear and we want to try to help them. Yeah I'm finding I'm definitely like learning stuff about myself too and how I learn specifically I think is neat. Um, I've noticed my grades increase a lot. I don't know if that's because I'm a bit more focused or because we've been doing this experiential stuff and been outside and seeing new opportunities. I've definitely noticed an improvement in like my attitude towards going to school and learning. You know, they spend the majority of their time learning in a classroom in a comfortable environment that they're, they're very used to and they know how to be successful in. And now they're being thrown into a scenario where every day is uncertain, every day is a new experience. You know, if there's one thing that you learn from from traveling and new experiences is that when you don't know what's going on you have to adapt to the environment and when you adapt you learn and so the more experiences that you can give these students in high school the more well-rounded they're going to be. I think horseback riding has taught me to be determined and to persevere to not give up like when the horses aren't going to stick with them and develop a good connection. Like communication is a very important part of riding and I can apply that to my everyday life. But if you're challenging yourself, stepping outside your comfort zone, doing things that you're maybe not used to, not totally comfortable with, that's where you're actually going to learn and the experiential learning is going to benefit you the most. Yeah, this experience is about personal development just as much as it is academic learning in the classroom. Um, and I think uh, it really complements what we do in terms of preparation for higher learning but this is the preparation for life as well. There's lots of reflection in the experiential program. It's about thinking back how I'm going to use these experiences to go on further in life and how I can use these experiences to change myself, change my own perspective and become a better person. Mm -hmm.